What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Bottle Tree Beer, based in Tryon, North Carolina, and brewed by Thomas Creek Brewing Company in Greenville, South Carolina. This is Bottle Tree Blonde. Uh, obviously, uh, Bottle Tree's a, a contract uh, brewer. Again, with Thomas Creek doing uh, doing at least this this beer of theirs. Um, really, no information on the bottle or on the website about this beer. Frankly, the website is supremely lacking. A fairly basic design and looks to have not been updated in close to four years. So, all I can say about this beer is that it is six six percent ABV. And we'll get right to pouring and tasting. So, a whole lot of a uh, carbonation, certainly to start. You can see it's uh, taking up about half the glass there, and I still have several ounces to pour. Probably close to half the beer to pour, in fact. Uh, tons of bubbles shooting up through what little beer there is in the glass. It's a nice, uh, pale, kind of yellow, pale lager color. I hold up to the light, and uh, we're kind of getting into, like, lemonade highlights. Uh, maybe just, like, a little bit darker than kind of your average uh, champagne, perhaps. A little bit bolder color than that, but similar color, but a little bit uh, just bolder in intensity. All right, I'm going to let this uh, head settle down and pour the rest of this beer, and then we will get to tasting. Okay, beer is poured, head settled. Uh, so the color is mostly held. Kind of an apple juicy color. Still a fair amount of uh, bubbles shooting up through the glass as well. Some particulate matter as well. Uh, some of it's still suspended in the glass, a bunch of it's settled to the bottom, looks like, uh, probably yeast and the like. Some in the head of the beer as well, I can tell. Like right there. Can't get it. Uh, mostly see-through though. A little bit of a, a little bit of haze, a little bit of blockage, but I can still see through it. I can see my fingers on the other side and so forth, but, uh. Enough talking and so forth. Let's uh, get to drinking. Hmm. Wow, so it certainly seems to be a blonde in the Belgian style. Uh, that's the first note about it. I took a, a, a very small sip of it uh, while it was still settling and before I had poured uh, everything out of the bottle including all the dregs at the bottom and at that point it was uh, quite sweet had that Belgian sweetness uh, a little bit of uh, bubble gum uh, going on this is much 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 earthier earthier spicier funkier Got cloves going on, uh, some fruits as well. Though the 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 funk with the <laughs> the funk right now is uh, a very heavy, at least to me. Kind of a grapey note, maybe something towards a uh, a white wine. I think. Uh. Yeah, again, cloves are kind of the biggest uh, biggest spice note I'm picking up. A little bit of banana in there as well. Maybe like some apricots, maybe some, uh, no, not, not dark fruits really. But uh, apricots, maybe dates, uh, those kinds of... Uh, those kinds of fruits. Uh, quite complex, surprisingly complex, especially when you get the 
the whole thing in the um the whole thing in the glass the bubble gum is pretty much non-existent it's not in fact it's not really sweet at all once you have all the dregs in compared to kind of sipping the the top half of the bottle mm. plenty of carbonation it's making me uh want to want to belch a lot but um Got a whole lot more out of this than I expected. Uh, pleasantly surprised this uh, this beer from Bottle Tree, uh, especially considering excuse me, considering uh, there was you know little to no information about the beer. Um, I expected something fairly basic. When you hear something like a blonde, I didn't really realize it was a Belgian style blonde, but you hear blonde and it tends to be a a fairly basic or plain beer. But this uh, has plenty of depth, plenty of complexity, and um, surprisingly uh good offering from uh, bottle tree and their belgian blonde so that is it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer you can find all my reviews both video and written along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com also check out prb on twitter and facebook you can find those links in the description below and if you're so inclined like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel thanks for watching i'll see you around at poorly reviewed beer